It off, break it off. I just wanna see you take it off. T Swift, that shit, yeah, shake it off. Are we gonna take a trip? Taking off, oh yeah. Lay you down. I just wanna be your body now. Show life's too short if I'm out of town. So we better get to work, yeah, working out. I get blacked out too easy. Ever since I was 16, wait, ever since I was 15. Oh shit, maybe sometime in between. I just wanna create some memories before I die this century. Fuck that if I should be the enemy. Yo, do you believe in destiny? When the sun goes down Well, today we're going to talk about something that's been going on for me for the last two days in a row. Um, now, we did work on some situations with our, our Google channel art on some of the stuff, which looks beautiful and fabulous. And we're starting to do little tiny things with the channel, the channel art little by little because we're constantly doing other things too with thumbnails and working on uploading videos and editing videos and all that and now we're starting to kind of come around the corner and starting to catch up on certain things and sooner or later I'll be able to have our banner now you've seen our banner it hasn't changed for god and I don't know how long about maybe what a few months if not a little bit longer than that and it'll be changing soon but I gotta pick what kind of um you know what kind of banner we're gonna have so I don't know exactly because it really depends on exactly which direction our channel is going so and really technically right now we have a lot of drastic changes are going on so it's like I can't really this stuff I can do I'm gonna do and then all this stuff I can't do I'm gonna hold off on it a little bit longer so anyways so the last two days I've been waking up feeling a little bit funnier than normal it feels like my heart's been stolen literally like not like ripped out and hurt but it's just like like Someone stole my heart! Like, seriously, it feels like someone stole my heart. It's weird. Let me explain. So, the last two days, I've been, I know I've been feeling like a change. Like, something's just changing, period. And there has been a lot of changes going over the, you know, the last few weeks and all that. And our UDC is proving that factor of what's going on. You see the, the ups and downs, and you hear about it, and then you, whatever. And there's, I can't tell you a lot of things, and whatever not. So, but... And of course, this is under UDC, but this the situation is there are drastic changes happening little by little. Maybe not big and I mean fast, but they're slowly changing, and it's amazing. I think you know, I did not ever think I didn't really. I did not think it would happen this year. I really did not think it would happen this year. Last year, I can't say no. Sounds feels different. Sounds feels different. Sounds gonna change. Nothing ever happened this year. It's coming little by little, and it's like, holy crap, what happened? Something changed, and it changed big. And it's like, okay, well, let's see where this lands, you know, follow it, you know? But, and if, so there's going to be a lot of changes, you know? Not bad, so don't worry, peanut butters. Okay, now, I know I call you peanut butters here and there. It's, it's a cutesy word. It means I love you, okay? I not only did, I know I call my kids peanut butters, you know what I mean? But I... Genuinely, when I say peanut butters, it's actually like a term of endearment. It, it, it means, you know, cutesy. Like, it, it'd be like if I called you cute, you know. You're so cute. That's so adorable. Ah! Okay, sorry. I get so, like, oh my god, like that energy that's inside me. Oi, but I can't help it. I actually, I was like, ugh. It's so cute. Oh, I love you guys. I'm not joking. That's what I feel inside. It's adorable. Oh, my peanut butters, I love you so much. Okay, I got, dear lord, my heart's just jumping out of my chest right now, like, in a good way, it's like, okay, whatever. So, I had two dreams, and they've been kind of like, it's weird. When I'm awake, when I'm awake, and when I'm sleeping, it's like the change is happening when I'm sleeping, and when I'm waking, you know, kind of, whatever. Okay, so the first dream was not yesterday, but the day before, because you can't count tonight, you have to be the day before. Okay, so the dream I had in there was... The longing of wanting to be held. Now, I, I, I do feel like I want to be, I want to feel, I know I want to be held. I want to feel, I keep talking about Tommy so much, it's like, God, I want a freaking guy to hold me. And not let me go. And love me and da da da, whatever. Okay, I know, I'm, I'm fast going through that because it's like, 
you know, I could talk about it all I want now if it happens, it happens, whatever. Okay. I seriously need to get a positive outlook on this. It's probably because of how I feel about myself. I mean, I love myself and who I am, but as for... There's no way anyone out there is going to freaking be able to handle me. Are you kidding me? I mean, come on. I have seven children. They might not live with me. I have a past that will knock anyone's socks off, literally. I mean, I've been through so much help. Whoever gets me is going to be, is going to have to literally be able to accept that I have seven kids, accept the fact that I want more family, and I mean a huge family, you know, meaning I want to love them so, I want to love whoever, I want to love whoever I am with so much that it's just abundance of love. Okay, I'm the person, when I love, I love in abundance, I don't love, I don't know, what can I say, I, um, God, I feel like a freaking teenager all over again. Dear Lord. Actually, technically, I feel like this half the time when I talk about love in general speaking, because I haven't, I haven't genuinely felt like the true love. I haven't genuinely been in love, but I know that I, one time I could sworn to God I almost felt it once, and I remember how it felt. I felt so giddy. I felt so, like, this feeling that was so special, and it's like, God damn it, I want that feeling back. I want it back so bad. I want to be able to feel that about someone. I want to be get excited to see somebody. Some, see somebody. I want to sit there and get all pretty for them. You know it's so funny though because I did a dress and press video and that's literally and I was just getting dressed up for my boss for God's sake. That's literally what I would be doing if I was involved with somebody. You know friends not friends, whatever. I do the same thing for everybody. I get dressed up for them. I make myself presentable and pretty for them because they need something pretty to look at. So, and I am pretty. So, sometimes I think I'm not ugly though. I do have my ugly days, <laughs> but who doesn't? We all have our ups and downs. So, anyhow, I just I'm the typical person that makes an effort for. That's just how I am. My relationships and my friendships are similar. I put a lot of effort out. I make everything special. I make them feel unique. I make them feel needed and wanted. Because really, in my eyes and in my heart, I always need them. No, it's not. It's like I keep telling people, needing is permanent. Wanting is temporary. I need them. I don't want them. I need them. It's a permanent thing. I'd rather have something permanent than short term and temporary. I don't I don't need that in my life. I do not need a temporary person. I do not need something short and temporary. I want something or aka need. I need permanency, stability in my life. Period. And that's what I'm gonna surround myself with. Anyways, why am we way off topic on this dream situation? But this does have something to do with it though. But Anyways, it's like, in the dream, like the wanting and longing, it was like, I remember it being on a second story looking down at the sky, and in the dream, it was like, he could, just by my eyes, he could sense it, and it was like, and he, I remember him sort of saying, do you want to be held? I'm like, yes, I do, and I remember, like, later on in the dream, we lie down in bed together, and he went behind me and just held me, and I was like, I felt, like, so loved, so secure and safe, it was like, you know, it was just nice. Of course, his hand wandered after that. So, and I remember how much I was. I remember the feelings too. It was so. God damn it! <laughs> I'm blushing. It was very interesting. Let's put it that way. I'm not going into detail. We'll just leave it at that. But the point. God, why am I blushing? Oh, I promised my I promised myself not to ever blush on camera. I'm breaking all my rules left and right about yeah, whatever. It doesn't matter at this point. Anyways, <laughs> but I remember sitting there and not wanting. And it's funny though because I remember not wanting to feel loved in my dream, and yet it was like he wasn't gonna back down from it. Could and he was gonna have me feel the love that I deserved and I felt loved so that's not the love we're talking about if you're getting on you know kind of looking in between the lines 
anyways, like I was saying, say, don't sit there looking between dating lines if that's what you think love is. It's not what love is. It was just, you know, you got when you look at your dreams, you got to analyze them very much so. And my battery just freaking died, so we had to transfer it. I gotta get a third battery because I swear to God, I run, I run my, I run our equipment to the rugged. I don't play games, and I always run out of batteries for some damn reason. I always wear those damn things out a lot. You're jumping to conclusions. I'm pretty sure at this point, which is normal for our channel for anybody to run conclusions. Into. That's fine because I'm pretty sure you're right about it, or you're not. One of the two. <laughs> okay. So, anyways, um. God damn it. Whatever. I love you guys. You make me blush constantly now. Thanks. So we got a new emotion on our channel. Now I blush now. Lovely. <laughs> it's fine. I'm just showing you. I'm just showing you me. So that's fine with me. And I'm comfortable with you guys. So I'm fine. Alright. So, um, besides that, it was just very really interesting though because, like I said, but the, you, gotta, you gotta analyze your dreams. Like, for instance, the fact that I didn't want to feel loved. And I was re resisting it in my dream. But then at the end, I just gave in. And I just didn't resist no longer. And I just felt the love. And I was like, well, that's exactly what you're doing in your waking life, you nitwit. That's what I'm saying to myself in that, you know, in my, you know, what I was saying to myself to right now. And even thinking about that. It's like, you nitwit. You're freaking, you're resisting love in your real life. You know, when you wake up, you're resisting it. And now in your dream, you're resisting it. But now, the guy in the dream's not gonna let you have that, your way with it. He's gonna, you know, you, you know, he wasn't, it wasn't anything bad. Nothing, it wasn't forced or anything. It was just very interesting that, you know, it's like, what, that's what I love. And that's probably what I need is somebody to, even if I'm resisting what I, what I mean by resisting, there's a difference here, so don't you take it, like, as in however you're taking it right now. What I mean by resisting love, I mean, like, to keep showing me love. Don't stop showing me love because I'm resisting it. Keep showing me love. Like, yeah, I'll give you an example. This is the only example I can use because... What we're talking about kind of sounds like very weird. Um, it's like someone saying someone, it's like someone saying that, you know, you know, hey, you're you're pretty. I, I you know, I really, I really love the way you look today. You know, you look gorgeous. You know, whatever. And I'd be me, I'd be like, yeah, whatever. No, that's my natural reaction. Like, okay, whatever. But you know, eventually, I, I would if someone kept on saying that, I would eventually warm up to it. And, yes, I'm giving you little hints and factors behind me and how I work, literally. But that's literally how I work, because I will resist it for so long, and eventually, when I, it's like, almost like when I feel safe and secure, or some kind of safety, or just something there, I end up, you know, accepting it sooner or later. But, I just don't want to get hurt, too, so, I kind of resist it a little bit more than I used to, you know, so, but, you know, but anyways, that was that dream, and it turned out very well. The dream was very... I also noticed when I woke up from that dream, I felt like my heart was stolen. Like, he... Like, I accepted love in my heart, so to speak. It was like, whoa, what happened in my heart? And I woke up and I felt like... I, first thing I did was touch my heart. I'm like, what the hell? Where's my heart? You know, I can't feel my heart. I wasn't having heart issues or anything. It's just like, I literally felt like my heart was stolen. Like, literally, like my heart was stolen, you know, to love itself. And then I had a dream last night that was very interesting, where I know when, from what I've been writing, and what I've been thinking about writing in this next part of the 75th story, about longing, to just the in intimacy part of just, oh god, this is freaking embarrassing, just wanting to feel what it's love to be kissed by a guy and all that. Okay, so I'm getting embarrassed now, and that's the honest truth. God, I feel weird about this. But I feel comfortable with you guys. And yes, I'm getting all squeamish and very antsy-pantsy, because I don't ever admit that kind of stuff. And the fact that I'm admitting it now is kind of a little bit embarrassing. So excuse me for being a little bit sheepish or shy about it, but it's been over five years to be exact, so don't, you know go jump into conclusions, you know, I came out of the closet, oh, I came out of the closet, that's for damn sure, and then, 
here it is five years later, and things are changing once again. And I don't know exactly what's going on exactly, but it sounds changing. And I'm not, and I'm gonna follow my heart. I'm not gonna d deny myself. So it's simple as that. But wanting and long, longing to feel just, I don't know. You know, a kiss by a guy. You know, and it's very interesting because. God, I'm so afraid of talking about this stuff, but I can't let fear conquer me. I gotta conquer it. It's something I've been fighting for so long. Um, and in the dream, I remember it was this guy who was very geeky, not very, you know, built and all. It's a 12360 dream for the last dream. And he was very tall, and he was very cute, and whatever not, and I remember our first kisses in the dream, and it was just like so passionate, I'm like, wow. You know, of course, in my, my dreams are very vivid, so it's like, when I wake up, sometimes I can't tell if I'm waking up or I'm actually, you know, it's very, it's very vivid. If I'm gonna get, like in my dreams, if I get hurt, like, if I get stabbed, shot, whatever, I'm waking up in pain, literally. So, you know, in my, if I have dreams like that. My dreams are very vivid. I can tell you, sense the colors of the, like, very detailed. The sense, so if I catch it in real life, the scent or whatever, it's like, oh, I remember that, and then brings back the memory of the dream. It's that vivid, you know? But just, I remember how I felt in the dream, and it was so cute, because he acts so weird and stuff, but it was like so special, and he was just treat me with respect and everything. And, and it, apparently, it was he had, you know, not all geeks are with. You know, it was just like his first time. It was very interesting. <laughs> it was like because he. he he, he had trouble talking to girls and all, and apparently I mel made him feel comfortable talking and whatever, and I have had people in the past like that, that I, you know, got through those moments, so I know what it's like, and whatever. And I'm embarrassed to talk about this if you didn't notice, and I keep talking about that. Anyways, but in the dream, it was very passionate, and I just remember how it felt, and then I remember, I, you know, I did wake up eventually from that dream, and it was just like, um, when I woke up, I'm, I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, what the fuck does this all fucking mean? I mean, literally, what the hell does this all mean? Is it, you know, is it getting me prepared for something? Like, is it getting me prepared for something to happen in my real life, you know? Because it seems like, it's like, a step by step by step, and I don't know if it's leading to the ultimate first time or not, you, you know, make love situation. I don't know if that's what's leading up to, because I know the first dream was just holding and well, the hand wandered, and then the second time was the kissing, which was the lips, and a little bit further, and I don't know if my dreams are going to the point where it's getting me prepared for that situation or not, but god damn it, there better be some permanency in this freaking situation in these dreams, because I don't like unpermanency, though. I haven't had a dream about time in a while either. That's why I mean Anners too. But I think it's my mind. My mind's kind of wandering a bit too because I remember um, talking about something about picking between a good-looking guy and a nerdy guy. And I remember I think I made a video about it a little bit. You know, I talked a little bit, and I think my mind's just playing off of that. You know, because they say sometimes your brain can play off whatever you were thinking about before you went. To, you know what I mean? And I remember, and I did, and I was last night. And it's the truth, was thinking how nice it would just be to kiss a guy, and to feel that love again, and whatever. Well, not really love, technically, because I haven't really actually felt it, felt it. I mean, I almost felt it once with somebody, but then they took off, so. And it's funny, we're talking about that, because I actually have a video that was not released, and it was taken, I think it was like last year, I'm not positive. And I thought, when you put that in brackets here, I thought I fell in love. And they didn't feel the same way about me, and whatever. Nothing happened between them and I. It was just, I actually felt different around them. I thought maybe that would be it, and it wasn't. And I was heartbroken. And it affected our channel for quite a bit, like always. If you notice a drastic change in our channel, this usually when stuff happens, like, 
and sometimes I, I can't always tell you guys because it's UDC. If something happens and our video scenes go out a little slower or whatever, just keep tabs on our discussion. Or like, you know what I mean? But there's usually your meaning behind me. Either I've been hurt by somebody emotionally or whatever. Or it could just be I'm not feeling good. Or it could be I'm going through a bad day. Or, you know, it's multiple means why our videos might be getting up slowly or whatever. You know, you, ne you don't ever know. So, some, you know. Okay. Sorry about that. I'm just checking to make sure you're recording. But, uh, yeah. So. I feel so. I know when this video goes up, people are going to be like, She admit it! I'm like, yeah, I might admit it, but it hasn't happened in real life yet. So, therefore, no one can sit there still. No one can sit there pinpoint me yet. Not yet, anyways. I'm pretty sure they'll eventually pinpoint what's going on behind the UDC series, but I'm pretty sure, or either you already have or not, or you don't know, but I do, oh, one other thing, speaking of which, last night, now, in a few episodes ago, I was said something about maybe making a profile with a different orientation and all that stuff, you I haven't done that, by the way, um, I was gonna try to, and I didn't do it because I end up making another pro well it was the same profile um just evidently in a different website and evidently with the same orientation that I am now so I haven't done that yet but I'm um, last night I felt like I was almost I actually last night was gonna genuinely make a a new profile you know a new one I was gonna actually do so with a different orientation and everything. I was going to actually do it last night, but I didn't. I didn't have the guts to do it. Again, I didn't have the guts to do it. But. I'm taking it like baby steps. You know, when I feel like I'm ready, I'm, I'm going to do it. So. Just like now we talk about it. Like we talk about these dreams I have. And we talk about, you know, what's going on. And it's like, I... I know I'm ready, so to speak, to go and do that profile, but I'm scared. So it's like, eek, I don't know if I should or not. I don't want to be rejected either. So it's like, I've already been rejected enough. How much more rejection can one person take? And that, that's a simple answer. A lot, you can take a lot of rejection and, and all that, but I just don't want to sit there and get so far and then have things changed, and I just don't want my life ruined, you know what I mean? I don't, I want the next thing to happen in my life that, you know, to be special, I want it to be permanent, I don't want something to be temporary or anything, I just want it permanent. Now, I know you have to try, and you have to go out there and do that, you know, so, of course, I'm going to have to make that profile happen, so I can, you know, trial and error situation and and start that journey and I'm gonna do it but I'm kinda scared at the same time and I know that I'm gonna be scared it's not like I don't know what I expect from I don't know what to expect you know when it comes to me because I mean come on five years five years for God's sake yeah I expect myself to be fucking scared than shit at this rate because you know I don't know what to say. I just, I'm always judgmental on myself about how I look up towards others. You know how it's like, I don't want to, I just want to be me and not be judged. But that doesn't happen. That's not how life works. You're going to get judged. Period. I just want to be loved. And not be afraid anymore. But like I said in the last episode, or episodes before, I'm just going to admit how I feel. I am... I know I've been back and forth through this video talking about this, but I know I'm ready to make that profile. I am going to admit I am very afraid and scared on how it's going to work out. I do think I know what's going to happen. I really do think I know actually what's going to happen to me when that profile goes up. And I do think I know what's going to happen. I mean... This is going to sound funny about seeing premonitions and all that, but I really do think I'm going to line up with a guy again. And there's nothing wrong with it. It's just scary. I just hope they're very gentle with me. 
<laughs> I'm just a peanut butter. I'm a pixie. I'm very fragile. Treat me with care. I, I have a heart of gold. Don't break it, for God's sake. You know. I'm choking. Sorry, I'm just checking to make sure you're recording. I'm always afraid of it. Stop recording. Anyways. I'm, I'm taking the baby. I'm going to take that step. I just hope when I take that step, it just... <laughs> so nervous. I am afraid. And I'm admitting I'm afraid. I said I'd admit my feelings when I felt them, and I feel afraid. I don't know what the hell I'm afraid of, though. Literally. I mean... I don't know. You know, oh, I got, I got a secret. I got a secret to tell. I got an ultimate secret to tell. And I'm pretty sure you guys, if you've read the blogger series, you could probably already tell what that secret is, sort of. Or not. I you know, you're probably not going to, I guarantee you won't know it, though. Uh, you know how, I, you know, I'm almost like a nervous wreck and all that stuff, right? In, like, the blogger series or whatever. You know, the blogger stories. And then also when I kiss... You know, Tommy or whoever. You know, before the first kiss, when I actually kiss him, it's like my whole, like I calm down at that point. There's a secret behind me in real life, believe it or not. Don't you get any ideas either? Better not. Or I'm gonna tickle you. <laughs> I noticed something about me a long time ago, and it's a pattern with me. Sometimes the reason why I'm so nervous, I mean, it's funny, I'll, I'll be nervous until that very first kiss, and then after that first kiss, it's like everything just changes. It's like I'm more calmer around the person. I feel more at ease with them. It's weird, I know. Don't give me that face. It's something I have to admit. It's weird. I remember every time I met my ex-girlfriend, well, the, you know, back when in a day when I was, my ex-girlfriends and all, and back in the days when I had ex-boyfriends and fiancés and ex, you know, all the exes back then, I remember how I felt when I was with them. I was very nervous wreck until I had that first kiss, and after that first kiss, I was just so at ease. Now, I don't know what it is. It's like that first kiss breaks the spell. Like, literally. I know it's a really weird way to put it, but it's like, it just puts me at ease, and it's like, just, I don't know, it's so weird. The first kiss and just wanting to be in their arms and not let go. And here we go again with the arm situation, but. <sighs> there's, there's your breakthrough with me. You find out uh, one of the things that the first kiss breaks the spell situation, and it usually does. It's so weird, though. I don't get why it's a kiss. I don't get why it's a kiss that breaks it. I don't know. It's so weird. I never understood it, but it's just me. Ugh. It's almost like I'm enveloped in love or something when it happens. Or something. I don't know. I do believe in first. I do believe in love at first sight. I do believe in falling in love quickly. I do. I'm pregnant. I. I. I'm pretty, I'm a very attachable person, I'm pretty sure that, that's just me, I'm not going to sit there and lie, I'm a person who falls in love quickly, I'm a person that is very attachable and whatever not, um, yeah, I know I've said I haven't fallen in love, but it's the truth, I haven't really fallen in love and love and actually stayed in love and not even just that, but haven't fallen into the genuine love in general speaking. I have not ever felt that special feeling, and I almost felt it once. And when I felt it, I was like, I didn't want to let go. And it, of course, was let go because the other person did feel the same way about me. So, that sucked like cakes, too. Ugh. I love that. The, the worst part, though, a person could say to me, though, would be, like... And the worst person... I, worst person... When you are in a beginning of a relationship or not, don't call it a fucking honeymoon phase. It's not a honeymoon phase. When If you genuinely love somebody, and you can feel that love and that flutter in your heart all the time when you see them, all the time, and it can be years you're feeling this way, and whatever, for a lifetime, that's genuine. That's not a honeymoon phase. Now, I hate when people use that. Oh, you're just in a honeymoon phase. You, you don't want to leave their side. No. If I'm going to genuinely feel in love with somebody... If it ever happens, you know, I'm, I'm really hoping it happens. I, I want 
I want that feeling. I felt it once and I loved it so much. I want to feel where I just want to see that person every day. Love, love on them. Love on them every moment of the day. Just not being away from them. It's like they're a part of me. They're my heart. They're my, you know, like Tommy, like I write in a blogger story. That's what I want so badly. And I know it's out there somewhere. Okay. We're going to end it right there before I go, like, whatever. Alright, guys, if you're not a family member already, please give a to the huggy button. Please give a mwah if you enjoyed our conversation, whatever. That's a love button. That's this one. Please don't forget to snuggles the bell button because ha, the press videos come when you do that. Definitely. And also, don't forget to, if you, if you ever have bid me, to upvo our videos to make sure we're seen. Don't forget, you have two subscriptions over there, literally. You can donate $10 a month to become a sweet subscriber, or you can donate $99 a month um, to become a super famous VIP. And they have different perks, and they are tweaked quite a We have been thinking about tweaking them a little bit more again, but we are tweaking them here and then. Um, but when you guys donate to our channel, or you can donate on any video particularly, you don't have to do that monthly, you can just donate on a particular video as much as you want and basically when you donate to us we put it through our equipment our and into our community so like for instance if we go on business trips or whatever or meetings we t whoever's in the VIP comes with us we pay for their room and their food and all it's we it's, it's basically recycling within our community basically it's it's, it's group in our it's taking care of equipment it's taking care of our you know our monthly stuff and everything monthly stuff like if we do like monthly gifts or whatever it's it's basically all about us it's all about us it's just recirculated with us what I think it's a good idea it is it's a very good idea it makes everybody happy not just me happy it makes all of us happy I'd rather have us all happy than just me particularly hey recording okay all right we're gonna send off now all right guys I love you so much and I'm pretty sure you're happy you embarrassed me today. I admit it, so who cares? You know, I embarrassed myself today, which is fine. I gotta start freaking throwing it out there like this. I gotta come and open my heart more. I really gotta open my heart more. It's the only way to get me to succeed and push forward and get somewhere, you know? You know what I mean? I gotta do this for me and grow. I quit making myself stay in the darkness so long. I need to get that last box of mine. Alright guys, we're gonna sign off now. I love you, I miss you, and I will see you guys in the videos up ahead. I love you so much.